right, everybody. So this is the 2023 Toyota Highlander Hybrid All-Wheel Drive LE trim. Uh, this particular model is a is a beautiful, beautiful example of the, their Highlander vehicles. There is an L trim that's a little bit less than this one. Um, this is one step up. Uh, starts at about forty-one, forty-three thousand dollars, somewhere in that range, plus any markups that they have. This particular car is six thousand dollars worth of markups. They're doing some things to it, like adding some uh, corner bead on the doors and. Um, couple of odds and ends that I'll, I'll talk about later but um, this has third row seating all the Highlanders have third row seating which I thought was pretty impressive um, so it's a nice looking vehicle um, it's got the rubber mats it's got plenty of storage in the rear when the third row seating is up um, it's got this extra area in here for all the tools and all the accessories that you're gonna need for the uh, the, thir the um, spare tire um, it's got the automatic hot hatch, which I thought was really nice. That's something that the lower models on the CRBs didn't have, unless you went to the premium models. So um, yeah, this is a, a nice looking vehicle. And again, it starts off at like $44,000. They have about $6,000 worth of markup. The average mileage city and highway is 35 miles per gallon, so it gets really good gas mileage. Uh, and then you're talking about the engine. The engine is a 2.5 liter, four cylinder, naturally aspirated engine. Um, not a lot of room in here, so if you wanted to kind of tinker with it and do some odds and ends like oil changes and stuff like that, change the air filter, fuse box is very accessible. Everything's right in front of you. It's, it looks very s simple. Um, it's married to an electronic CVT transmission, so um, it does have that, and Toyota is very proud of that CVT and that transition of power between the engine and, and the wheels. It's got a motor up front, motor in the rear, and the battery uh, system in the rear of the car. This particular engine has 243 horsepower and 175 foot-pounds of torque. So it's got plenty of power, especially with the size that it is. Um, LED lights through the projection light bulb there, um, plenty of lighting. And uh, that's all standard for the LE model. And it's also standard to have driving lights, and they're also LEDs also. So. It's a nice package and you get a lot for your money, no question about it. I mean, it's, it, it is a little bit on the pricey side, but you're getting a lot. Side mirrors get defrosted. Rear climate control. And right now they're synced, so everything that we do on this side does it on that side. You have volume control for your radio. Does this have XM radio or? Yeah. Go ahead. Because it's not set up yet. Yeah. But you'll you'll definitely get XM radio, yes. all that kind of good it's stuff. It's a three month free subscription. Okay. It is in there. Bluetooth. You Bluetooth. Listen to your phone. Yeah. And you said this is this is wireless charging too, or is this not wireless charging? It's not wireless charging. It's wireless, like for your Apple. Okay. You so you, it's not like you can put your phone in here and it's okay. it's charging. No. no. Okay. Well, some of them like the. Mm -hmm. have the, the QI pad that you just put it on and, and that'll have it so push button start mm -hmm. little tray area for this is probably a good spot for your phone that's a nice little spot cup holders okay. yeah exactly so two USB C's and a standard USB A and even a cigarette lighter There's another charge port there. And the drive modes you said, I'm gonna change this over. So you get sport mode. So it'll act a little bit more spirited, right? Mm -hmm. So probably a little oomph to, like to it. So you can go zero to 60 a little quicker. Normal mode and eco if you wanna save a couple miles per gallon. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Oh, I just heard the engine stop. Mm -hmm. So now it's just kind of resting in EV mode, right? Right. Until I want to move it into, uh, move this thing around. Now this is a continual variable transmission, CVT. CVT. Mm -hmm. And that gives you a little bit more smooth of a transition between gears and stuff right. like that, you right? Won't, you won't feel it. You won't feel the bucking or anything yeah. like that. A lot of controls on your steering wheel. These are um, cruise control. Mm -hmm. When that is on, you can set the three blue lines there as three car lengths, two and one. So if you're cruising and you have it at three car lengths, yeah. um, someone cuts in front of you will slow the vehicle down uh, until it goes back to the three car lengths. This is um, lane departure, 32 miles an hour or more. Mm -hmm. If you get over to the side off the white line, it will steer you back onto the road. Nice. Your radio controls and telephone are on the left side. All on through here. Mm -hmm. Volume. Volume. That's nice. A lot of different options. Odometer, trip. Uh, I guess this is how bright Light the lights the are on the dash. Mm -hmm. Towards you, will turn the lights out back on once the car passes. Okay. And also turn them off with this bright yellow signs. Like, <laughs> it's like deal crossing or something. Yeah, they, they trigger it off. Now you said this is power front seat. Yes. Um, do you have power seats on that side too? No. No, just on the driver's side. Yes. Okay. And then you said that up in here, you have the um, SOS is, button. Yeah, safety connect. Okay. Good for, uh, 10 years, ten years mm -hmm. from the purchase of the vehicle right. is that transferable like if you sold the car to somebody else or I'm not sure if it is or not, yeah, I'm not sure. okay they just started that this year okay with, with the ten year. eyeglass holder and then when you pull this down for the eyeglass you can like pop the yourself. mirror if you have so, kids yeah that's a good idea instead of like turning around they call it a conversation mirror <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So this is a 60-40 split, right? And you can fold this down. You got your climate control here. Two USB ports down below. That's pretty nice. And then the third row, obviously, because this is the Highlander. Yeah. So you have the third row seating in the back. Cool. And Ventilation. And the other one down. And I'll come in handy. Rear cup holder. Nice. So what are the warranties again? It's three year thirty six bumper to bumper. Okay. Five year sixty on the powertrain, the engine, transmission, drive axle. And you also get Toyota Care, which is two years with twenty five thousand mile maintenance. That is through uh, Toyota, so it's good anywhere. Mm -hmm. Though you said she's in Rhode Island. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to be done at our dealership. We welcome you to do so, but... That's oil changes, air yeah. filters, anything else tire like that? Tire rotation, the fluids, uh, tire pressure monitor, and oil change. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at 5000 they would just do the, the, the checkup. The check at 10000 they do the oil change because it's synthetic oil. Nice. And this doesn't have heated seats. I remember you saying no, right? No, no heated, heated seats. seats. But right. you can get that as an option. Yeah. In the um, premium models. Right. Like okay. the leather, you would get that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's, so it's a nice warranty system. No, no question about yeah. it. And I, I'm assuming the premium model would have the, uh, the sunroof sun and roof. everything. Uh -huh. So this is an L LE. L -E. Right. Not quite the bottom L model, but the right. LE is LE one step up. Okay, XLE is the better. Limited and the premium, yeah. Trip back to the dealer. I'm gonna punch it a little bit and see how much power this has. So this is 203 horse batteries. Um, with the, uh, the this engine, or it's a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. That was the RAV. This is the high island. Yeah, they're kind of dirty, huh? Yeah, it's got some. It's got some pep, definitely. It's, nice. it's a very comfortable drive. It really is. I mean, it's a good riding. 
night, I could see really well outside the window. Okay, so you can go over here, here. Um, those are all your things that are on, but then you have your en um, energy monitor. There's your radio, that's saying off. Radar ready. Oh, that also had your um, compass on there. Oh, okay. Miles per hour, right here, digital. What's the radar for? That's for the proximity? Right. Um, outside Maybe temperature tells you park. There's a lot of information there. It's almost like overload, <laughs> like a little too much. But. Yeah, this is your um, lane departure. Remember I told you 32 miles an hour or yes. more? You can turn that off for those people that like to ride off the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, but just right in here, you can just keep scrolling through. Gives you all like those the different. Arrow, yeah. Nice. And that's the battery charge right there, mm -hmm. that last one. Wow, that's a lot of information. <laughs> cool. At first, all it's going to do is it's going to say ready and then it started. So when you press this this button, this on off button mm -hmm. right here, the start button, it's not going to start the combustible engine. It's right. literally just going to put yeah, it in ready mode. You do mode. have to put your foot on the brake to start it. Okay. To stop it you don't, but to start it you do. It started right now. So the car is in is actually started. It's on. Okay. Yeah. When it says ready. That's why I wanted you to start it. To I see. So it's almost like an electric vehicle. Like the I electric think, vehicles are kind of set up that way, yeah. right? Yeah. Then it will. It will. It'll kick, kick in. on. Yeah. Oh, backup camera. I wanted to see what that sure. looked like. Oh wow, that's a big screen. Cool. Right. That shows your cross coming. traffic alert. Yeah. Because someone's coming down the road behind us. Perfect timing. Yeah. Good demonstration. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it looks good. I if mean, if we were backing up to a wall, that red line gives you your your guidance for that. It'll beep. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have like the you know the lines that turn when you actually turn the steering wheel. No. It doesn't have that. Okay. No. All right. Does it, is it on the premium models or? 
um, if it has the, the surround view, you could see like You could see the, everything. Yeah. Okay, so that is an option on the premium models. Right. Okay. But otherwise, yeah, it's a big screen. It's great. Cool. This, so this is the, uh, the parking brake. Correct. The hold button so that you don't have to have the parking brake on, but when you're at a standstill. On a hill or something. On a hill. Mm -hmm. Traction control. Okay. EV mode. That's like a coast, like if you just like want to pull ahead like down to that pole or something. It'll allow it's you to go short distance. Right. It's not really like for driving purposes. And trail. Here. Going, going off road, off road <laughs> in the Highlander. I can't really see the screen of the vehicle to go off road. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't yeah. think they're really designed for that, but it's not cool. Hey, I hope you liked the video. Uh, please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and uh, ring that bell so that uh, next time a new video comes out, you get notified. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.